Welcome back guys, Tech Screw TV. Another exciting episode. We're heading back to the chicken coop today. More adventures of Chicken Man. Um, as I said in another previous exciting episode, I had to build the nesting boxes. The birds are about to start laying. So I better get cracking with the nesting boxes. So I'll show you what the plan is and we'll go from there. Alrighty, so here is the basic plan. This is gonna be a meter and 50. From there to there. We'll make it approximately, uh, 400. The depth of it here, we'll make it about 350, 400 up there. Oh, this is not to scale, by the way. Uh, it's just my favorite little um, drawing joke. We'll, we'll come down with a sheet, of met a sheet of timber and put a hinge along here. So this top board here will hinge up and inside the nesting box, we'll have some separate little compartments for individual nesting boxes. That's the basic plan. Construction is gonna be the same as the rest of the hen house. So I've got some, some 20 mil, we'll go down and have a look. Got some 20 mil ply, it's at least 20 mil. It's bloody heavy duty stuff. It's far too heavy duty for this. It's gonna make it really heavy. But I've got some cut to size. Uh, it's gonna be joined together The same construction as the hen house, it's just gonna be joined together using angle iron and a heap of screws to link it all together. And then I'm just gonna screw it onto the, to the existing hen house. So we'll see how we go. Alrighty, so I've pre-cut some timbers. This one here is gonna be the base. I've got some end pieces. We'll go around it. The main body of the trailer will be at that end and the draw bar will be here. So this will be the front. So I'll need to, to mark a raked edge on this. Could use a few methods, but I'll use this method. So I've got the angle marked on the board. I've just set the saw. So I've just guessed the angle. And I'll just have a couple of passes through this area just to make sure the angle's right. And then screw a board, or you could clamp a board on top of that timber. And that's the guide to run your saw along to cut a nice straight line. Oakley Doakley. So I've pre-cut some board. Uh, I've got the piece that's going to be the bottom piece is right there. That'll be the bottom of the nesting box. And I've got some, some boards that are cut with the top being on a bit of an angle for fall. That'll go on the outside like that. I've got the front of it, which has the top cut on a bit of an angle there which will be consistent with the which will be consistent with the uh, the fall now these side pieces will just travel down a little bit 10 mil below the base for a bit of a drip edge because the uh, the timber uh, ply is going to be the finished product I'm just going to prime it and paint it black um, so the three sides and the roof of this um, nesting box is just going to be painted and that's going to be it. So to fix it all, um, there's probably many different ways of doing it, but I'll stick to what I know and that's just by using bits of angle, sheet metal angle, it's uh, 0.6 millimetre thick, it's just normal flashing feed. I'm going to screw it to the edge of the bottom piece of the bottom board. Got some other bits of angle. 
Here's another one that I may have prepared earlier. So they will just get screwed down right on the edge. I'll put a tech screw every 100 mil or so. And once that's done, I'll stand these up and screw these on from the inside. And that should be it. All right, I'll, I'll get cracking and do that now. All right, so I want these side boards here just to be below the base of the, the nesting box. So before I screw the sides on, I'll just lift that up. So I've just got to find something 10 mil thick. Stick underneath it. Okay, all three. All thread gets another Guernsey. I'm just going to use some other types of little tech screws, little metal cutting heads, smaller gauge screw. I'm just going to use these to pre-drill the angle. I've got to pre-drill the angle first. Doesn't matter, whatever. So that's basically the insides of it. That's looking at it from the front. They're connected to the, the pen which is there and there'll be a lid that opens that way. But this is how I'm gonna connect it all. Pretty rough and rugged, but it's just gonna be the inside of a nesting box. So who gives a shit? I've just got these materials, so they don't cost me anything. A very small amount for the screws. Yeah, I'm wasting a lot, but I go through thousands of them. Um, so it's just materials that I've got. It's just one way of doing it. There's many ways that you could do this. Many ways to skin a cat. So I'm going to make these dividers in the nesting box. Then I'll make them out of sheet metal. So I've got my dimensions here. I'll cut them in a guillotine and I'll go over to the folder, fold them up. So I need a 20mm fold 
around all four sides. Once again, many ways of doing this. Sheet metal workers will have their way. Roof plumbers will have their way. Okay, so here's the basic shapes of the dividers. A 20 mil edge around each side. I'll fold those in and up. We'll go over to the folder, get these ready, and we'll go and screw them in. All right, we need to do a bit of trimming. At least got to cut the corners off. So we've got to, got to cut the corners off to make these folds. All right, so this is a magna bender. So it uses magnetic pressure to, to lock the metal down and then the handles bend the metal. It's a really great, it's a great bender. This is just a great bender. I recommend everyone should have one. With a bit of luck, these should fit in our nesting box. Okay, dividers are in. Now I've just got to put the lid on, mark out where I'm going to hinge it, and work out how we're going to hinge it. So I reckon the lid wants to be wants to be wider and it wants to be deeper. So this is pretty good. I reckon about 40 mil overhang each side.
This is looking like it. This is going to hinge up that way. Reach in and grab our eggs this way. We just need a hinge. I don't have a hinge. I'll see what I can find. I'm playing onto this roll of rubber, thinking one day I'll use it. Well, today might just be the day. I think that'll be fine because I've got to seal this to the building. So I might have another piece of rubber that comes down over the top of this hinge, continuous. Might even cover the whole, the whole lid. Not sure yet, but we'll see how we go. Because this rubber, if it works okay, I'll just silicon this rubber down to the box as well as the screws. It should be okay. Now I just need a latch. Well, I'm sure there's better ways of doing it, but that's just utilising materials I had here. You can see the, um, the sheet metal angle that'll get bolted or tech screwed to the side of the, uh, the chook house. Yes, there's other ways of doing it, but um, this is the way I find the easiest. And, you know, it might give someone else out there some ideas, some way of, of uh, building a breeding box. Oakley-dakley. Back to the grindstone, bit of four in one primer. Oh, I just slap it on, I bloody hate painting with a passion. I don't really know how to do it, I don't know how to do any of this. I'm just a humble roofer. What could possibly go wrong? Four in one primer. I don't know what the four is, but I know one of them is primer. So that'll do, because I think you should prime it first. So I'll give it a coat or two of primer, and then I'll see what paint I've got. I might have some some leftover paint, red paint from the uh, from the chook shed. So I'll either do it in red, or I've got some leftover white from the chook shed. So red or white. Would have liked to have done it in black, but I don't have any black paint, and so if I'm just trying to use up materials that I've already got. So, that's all she wrote really. A bit of paint and then I think when the chooks start laying, I'll, um, I'll screw the bad boy on. Thanks for watching guys.